Hi, and welcome to my quick guide of the quest Shadow of the Storm. The quest requirements are Demon Slayer and the Golem, and stat requirement is just 30 crafting. For the items needed are a silver bar, an empty vial, pestle and mortar, silver light, if you own one. If not, that is no problem, you'll get it back at the start of the quest, 490 GP, and a black colored item. I will be bringing along a black withered hat. Just be sure that you're able to wear that black item anywhere besides your torso and your leg slot. For example, a black helm, any black shield, black boots, a black cape, dark mystic, ghostly robes or any black cosmetic item that you can get from treasure trails. For the recommended items, is some weight reducing armor and one stamina potion should be enough and then for the second half of this quest you will need to bring along some food armor weapon and potions to kill a quite difficult combat 100 demon if you have low stats especially if you do not have level 37 prayer because this level 100 demon uses magic and melee plus he can also teleport you but his max hit is only 10 but when he does them both at the same time he can hit a 22. So for the teleports is just one teleportation method to El Carrot and then also one teleportation method out of the user after the quest is completed. I will be also using the Ring of Dueling. So where to start this quest is let's first drop Silverlight for the people that don't have it and it is just south of the El Carrot bank. Let's talk to Father Reen and select option 1. And he will give you silver light back and this will also start the quest. Next, let's run to Shantipas and we will need to buy a couple of things. What we will need to buy is one desert rope top, one bottom and a Chantipas. So let's trade Shanty. One top, one bottom and one Chantipas. And then let's go through the Chantipas. And let's travel with the Wreck Merchant to the user, which should be option 1. Once you have arrived to the user, let's go to the clay golem. And near the clay golem, you will find a new NPC, which should be Father Baden. Talk to him and select option 1, 3, and then 1. After speaking to him, we will need to go back downstairs. So let's climb down the staircase. And let's go grab some black mushrooms just northeast of you, just northeast of the staircase, and grab three mushrooms. Next, once again, just like in the golem quest, use your pestle and mortar on them. And now use your black mushroom ink on the silver light to make it into a black silver light. Next, let's grind one again and use it on the desert top. Say yes to dye it permanently. Dye the last one and use it on the bottoms. Yes, you will not be able to remove it to make some black desert. Next, let's go north. Let's equip your black desert and then your third black item. And here should find Evil Dave next to the portal. Talk to him and select option 2 and then 1. And this should trigger a cutscene. After the cutscene is over, we will be speaking to another NPC. We will need to select option 4, and after you've selected option 4, we will need to read the incantations. Because this is random for everyone, just like in the Demon Slayer quest. So be sure to write down your incantations. But that is after you've selected option 4. 
So slowly, there we go. I'm gonna quickly open my notepad. So what I have is an uh, the A N. Then we have the Cal. Then we have the N. Then you have the Tar, and then you have the Cam. All right, that is my incantation. Once you have done that. Once you've written down the incantation, just skip through the dialogue, and now we'll need to talk and find Jennifer. First, find Jennifer, and then talk to her, and select option 2. There she is. Give me the mold. Next, we'll need to find Matthew, and select option 3. Next, we'll need to go to any furnace, but since we need to return to the user anyway, and to go to the bank, I'm going to dual arena and go to the L-Carrot furnace. Alright, at any furnace, let's use the silver bar on it, make a demonic signal, and let's return to any bank to prepare already for the boss fight, which we will which we will initiate in about 10 minutes or so. So, I'm going to go to the Shanty Pass bank. On the way to the Shanty Pass bank, you may already drop your three black items, like your black desert shirt and bottoms. You don't need that anymore, as well as your helm or wizard hat, whatever you've used. Let's go to the bank and prepare for the boss fight. What you also do not need is your empty vial and your pestle and mortar. Also, you do not need the demonic sigil mold anymore since you already have the demonic sigil. Just gonna quickly deposit everything, and what I will need is definitely 205 GP, the demonic sigil, silver light, obviously, and then also some food, armor, weapon, and potions to defeat that monster which uses magic and melee, so be sure to be prepared. Alright, and that should be it. I'm quickly going to deposit this. So, I have my food, armor, weapon, potions, silver light, demonic sigil, 205 GP, and then also 5 empty inventory slots. So, let's first quickly buy one extra Chanty Pass. And let's go through Chanty Pass, and let's go back to the user. Also, I've brought along this extra stamina potion. Once we've returned to the user carpet, let's return to Father Baden, but now we will need to talk to the clay golem and select option 3. After speaking to him, we will need to find the book, which is in a random kiln out of 4. The first two are quite easy, they are just west of Father Baden. Here are two broken kilns, and there's also one east of the building. Hopefully it will be in one of these. And the fourth one is all the way north of the carpet, the magical carpet. It is probably also not in this one, so I have bad luck, it was in the one behind the staircase. Once you've found the book, we will need to return to Matthew below in the throne room. Alright, let's return to the center and return to Matthew, but before we're going to talk to him, 
be sure to read the tome yourself. Skip through some pages. And where is Matthew? There we go. Let's talk to him. After speaking to Matthew, you simply need to wait approximately 5 to 10 seconds and then the Nath will make everyone stand in a circle. Just stand in the open spot and click on the demonic sigil. And now you'll need to select the incantation that the Nath has told you, uh, which I've written down in my notepad, but this is random for everyone, so... So chant your incantation. Alright, once the cutscene is over, pick up the dropped Demotic Seagull and let's go south through the portal. This will start another very short cutscene. Bye bye Tanya. Let's pick up the Demotic Seagull dropped by Tanya and let's talk to Evil Dave just a couple of tiles south and select option 2. Next, let's go northwest and let's pick up the strange implement. If you do not have inventory space, then simply drop the demonic tome. You don't need it anymore. Next, after you've picked up the strange implement, let's go back upstairs to the surface. And let's talk to the clay golem and select option 3. Once you have these two options, don't do anything, just use your strange implement on the clay golem and then talk to him again and he will take one of the demonic sigils. Next, talk to Father Baden and just don't do anything, he will go inside, no problem. And then talk to Father Ween and also select option 3. You bastard. Once the three NPCs are inside, let's go back to the throne room to fight and initiate the final boss battle. If you are low on food already, then quickly go to the bank, that is no problem, and then just simply come back. But if you think you are ready, just go into the throne room and let's talk to Matthew to initiate the final boss battle. Where is he? And select option 1 if you are really prepared. So what we will now need to do, you need to stand north of the circle and chant once again with the demonic sigil. But this time you will need to chant it backwards, so what you've written down, just do it backwards and it will spawn the demon. Now after the cutscene is over, the demon will start attacking you. If you want a safe spot, you quickly need to run a bit northwest behind a standing torch and he will not be able to attack you. So here, just northwest, use that, there we go, oh, he can also teleport you by the way. Just stand behind his torch and he will not be able to reach you. And if you are really low combat, then just wait for his health bar to be gone, attack him again, run away behind the torch, wait for the health bar to be down, and just do this until he is almost dead. Because the final damage has to be done with silver light. There's no other way. 
Ow. Oh boy. Alright, let's uh, remove this. Alright, once Agrignar is almost defeated, be sure to equip your Silver Light. Holy shit, I'm almost died again. And then deal the final blow with this crappy weapon. Ah, there we go. And once Agrignar has been defeated, the only thing that you now have to do is unequip your Black Silver Light or Dark Light anywhere you want to complete your quest. I'm gonna do it in Castle Wars Bank, why not? So, simply unequip your Dark Light and you can select your one-time 10,000 free combat experience in any combat skill outside of Prior. And most people will be using this on Ranged. And congratulations, you've completed the Shadow of the Storm quest. You are awarded with one quest point, the Dark Light Sword, 10,000 combat experience in any skill that you've chosen, and you've now also completed a quest requirement for Recipe for Disaster, Freeing Evil Dave. Alright, this was my quick guide how to complete Shadow of the Storm quest. Hopefully it has helped. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye. Holy shit, I shouldn't have brought Rune. Holy damn, fuck.